My name is Bob Mandros. I'm the owner and president of Mandros Painting. I'm the second generation owner. My dad was the founder of this business. He started it in 1965. In 1998, I had the opportunity to buy in and uh, I've been running the business ever since in some capacity. For the last 10 years, I've been the sole owner of the business. My name is Brandon Mandros. I'm the vice president and operations manager. Uh, so I make sure that all the operations run as smoothly as they can. Uh, the project managers report directly to me and we coordinate all of the uh, operation of each project and make sure everything goes without a hitch. Hi, I'm Christy. Um, I'm the HR manager here at Mandros Painting and team development manager here. We look um, for people that really want to be part of a big team. Um, honest, reliable, hardworking, um, and trustworthy. We want to make sure that people aren't afraid of heights, confined spaces, um, not afraid to learn. So typically in the labor position, you start, at, start out as a whole watch, um, which is a really important job. Um, and you know, you could be lifting hoses, handing tools, picking up garbage, um, cleaning up the job site, um, just whatever it is that these guys need. As you kind of develop those skills with the supervisors, um, we encourage development um, within our organization so we can move employees up, wh whether it be a sandblaster, a painter, hydro blaster, whatever it is. So the qualities that we're looking for in a new employee are going to be people that can make it to work every day on time, that are flexible with our schedule because our clients often give us short lead times. So we take care of our clients, we maintain their assets, we keep them running, we keep them running top notch. When they have an issue, whether it be on a holiday weekend or middle of the night, they have some a piece of equipment go down and they need our services, they call us up, they know that we're going to get there, they know we're going to get the job done and we're going to get the job done right. So we're looking for people that just that are willing to work hard. You know, these guys are people that put their boots on, they work hard every day. Um, you know, there is an opportunity for people like that. We didn't necessarily, all of us didn't follow the right, the same path. Um, and, you know, Mandros wants to create opportunities for people that like to keep busy, like to get their hands dirty, like to go out and be physical and, and do hard work. So opportunities within this company I think are really only limited to the person. Um, so our project managers, our foremen, a lot of our guys, all of those guys have started as laborers and moved up from there. Myself, uh, vice president, I started as a laborer with the company and worked all the way through. My name is Tim Allred. I've been working for Mandros for about five years. I'm a foreman now. I started out at the bottom, very bottom of the totem pole and moved my way up. I like it, it's a good company. We do a lot of fun, challenging jobs. We do a lot of easy jobs. It's all fun, I guess. <laughs> my name's Tyler Winters. Um, found Manjo is my brother. He works here, he's a project manager. Been here a little over four years. Experience been really good. A lot of hard jobs, some easy jobs, but all together it's an overall good outcome. Four years ago I started out as a whole watch. Work my way out to a lead, um, foreman work here and there. Started as a laborer, worked my way through the ranks, um, became a painter and then became a foreman, and then got an opportunity to buy into the business, uh, and then just went from there. A successful new hire, 99% um, of the time, 100% of the time, they're gonna be hard workers, they're gonna be team players, they're willing to learn, they're willing to take coaching and understand that um, there's, there's a opportunity for growth within themselves uh, and know that the team is there to help them grow and help them become a higher quality employee and hopefully a higher quality person. And um, on the other side of that, many people that we have hired in the past that have been unsuccessful are a little bit more concerned with themselves personally and not the betterment of the company or the team. My name is Randy. I've been working at a water, or I'm working at a water facility, water treatment facility right now. We're gonna sandblast the inside, then paint. It's a big process. We have the opportunity to do a new thing every day. We don't go to the same, you don't go to the same gate and check in, and put in your eight hours and then go home. We'll work at a place for a couple of weeks and then we'll move to another location and work there for a a month or two and then we'll work at another location for a day or two so it really is something different every day 
it's really an adventure. You know, we one day we might be up on a 500 foot stack climbing to the top of it and doing putting a protective coating system on. The next day, we might be climbing through a pipe underground. A typical day in Mandros is also one of my favorite things is because there is no typical day. Uh, even if we do the same job at a different facility, whether it's blasting a precip or washing a stack or painting a handrail, uh, it's always different. There's always a new adventure. There's always something just a little bit different. So you're not going to get bored here. It's no, there is no typical day. It's a hard job, but there's, it's just what you like about it. It depends. I like to paint. When I sandblast, it puts me in my own head. I'm in my own head, just concentrate. I think about all day things, and before I know it, time flies. It's, I don't know, I just like it. I like to see ugly projects like this from the inside turn pretty. <laughs> One of the most fulfilling things for me is to watch a person go from a labor position and work their way up into a painter position, into a foreman position, and, and really the difference that that makes in their ability to take care of their families and the improvement that that can make in their lives and, and their children's lives. That's a really fulfilling thing for me as an owner. We take pride in that craftsmanship mentality. We take pride in that work ethic mentality. We think there's something to be proud of for a person that gets up every day, puts their boots on, takes care of their family, and just does the right thing, learns a skill, learns a trade. You can get ahead if you learn this trade. And this trade is something that is in demand all over the world. You learn the skills that we do here, basically you can go anywhere in the world Working with Mandos gave me quite a few certifications. Uh, a lot of it I could apply to different aspects of work from different places across the country. Choose to stay here though. And our, our core values are to, to do the right thing, show people you care, and to do the best you can. And we try to operate every situation with those, those three things in mind. Does, is every action that I'm doing support those values? It's a good company. They really take care of you. They actually value their employees take care of you, make sure you're safe. It's real good culture, real good people to work with. Everybody's got a warm heart. Everybody will teach you everything you need to know, make you feel real good about coming to work. What I like about Manjo's is a safe work ethic, honest work. Um, the owner, he's a good guy. He takes care of his people really well. The way of work here kind of has everybody's back, so pretty good experience. When we find that special person, we like to take care of those people. We like to give them the tools that they need to grow and expand and climb the ladder. This work isn't for everybody. If you're not willing to put your boots on, get your hands dirty and work hard, this probably isn't the place for you. If you are willing to put in that effort and learn our trade and learn our skills, I think you'll find a wonderful home here at Mandros.